After our amazing time in Changsha, we took the train to Nanchang, where we had the opportunity to meet more Chinese researchers as well as trying out the local flavors in Jiangxi. Our event was held at the state guest house by Chenhu Lake in Nanchang, where we also stayed. It was really breathtaking to wake up to the most beautiful garden scenery, forests and lakes. Just like in Changsha, we held another part of the EU-China RNI Stakeholders Tour of China, which is a, like a series of events where we had the opportunity to, to do a presentation on the research opportunities available in the EU countries that joined the tour. Like last time, I had the pleasure to moderate a panel and take questions from the audience. We had, our, we had with us in states reps from Sweden, Norway, EU, Germany, France, Italy, and Hungary. And the audience had a lot of questions, ranging from food science, new energy, digitalization, and more. The hosts around China often shows us amazing labs and scientific facilities, and this time we were lucky enough to be invited to the unmanned robotic factory of the Chinese traditional medicine manufacturer Jiang Jiangzhong. It's always amazing to see the incredible technological advancements that are being made in this field, and you know that I love robotics and automation, so this was very interesting. After our official business was over, I decided to stay in Nanchang for a little bit longer. So me and my girlfriend, we decided to first uh, take a little bit of walks around the Chenhu Lake and then in the evening go to downtown Nanchang. This is really, really beautiful actually and has a lot of interesting little spots to take a look at as well as extremely good flavors and night markets and more such things. <laughs> 